the Amber Griff here, and welcome to a Let's Play video. This is Zen Morphs, or what apparently looks like a Pokemon Digimon fusion thing, and oh, that's cute. The blue one has one purple dot. the The red one has two orange dots. And the green one has three blue dots. I wonder if that's basically just saying that it's one, two, and three. So, without further ado, everyone, all of my mythies here on the channel, and all future generations, and for those of you watching this video on, like, pieces of sheet glass... In the future, like many eons away, I hope that hover cars are as great as they always have been. Apparently. Um, so anyway, I'm just rambling on. Let's get into this video. I've heard that Zen Morph's Protectors is a little bit like Pokemon, a little bit like, you know. So this is version 1.2.10. And this is apparently a really good game. It was suggested to me by my brother and a few of my other friends from school and I'm going to play it now. So let's hit new game. Alright, great view of a planet that's definitely not the earth that we live on. Okay. And the three little... whoa. That's a lot of words. Okay, time for my best introduction man's voice. Welcome to the world of Zenmorphs. Zenmorphs are powerful creatures that live in harmony with humans on the planet Gaia. We live in the state of Caliban, Cal Caladan, where only protectors raise and battle Zenmorphs. There are three key Zenmorphs. They are called the Newborns. All other Zenmorphs evolve from these Newborns. Zenmorphs branch their evolution based on their stats. They can grow to be powerful attackers, strong defenders, and swift speedsters. Each Zenmorph has four extra stages of evolution. From, Zen, from newborn, to child, to adolescent, to adult, and to grand stages. We are about to embark on your first day of this epic adventure. But first, it is time to create... Your character. I'm sorry about my voice, guys. I'm losing it a little bit. And I guess we click the... We can't click the screen. I am playing this on iPad. Um, hashtag not sponsored. Um, but maybe it's the check mark? I guess it was. And it fades to black. Okay. Tip. Create your character. First, select your gender and enter your name. Use the tabs to navigate between categories. You can select your skin tone, hairstyle, outfit, and mood. Mood? Oh, okay. Each outfit has four collar sets to choose from. Each hairstyle has ten collar sets to choose from. You can... You will be able to obtain new outfits and hairstyles later in game. Lovely. So we've already started out. Amazing. Well, I believe for this run through of the game, if it lasts at all, we'll be a male. Of course. Well, a male. And as... You all will soon be a parent. I am Griffin on any game that I've ever played. If I choose male, and if I choose female, I'm always a Madeline, but I think that I'm going to go for... Um... Hmm. I like that hairstyle. And purple. Oh yeah. Okay. Outfits. One, 
two, three, or four, right? No, we have six of them, okay. CP, some sort of biker looking doohickey. Um, okay. I think this one looks best with the character choice. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, a mood. Your mood will affect how people say what people say to you in game. You'll be able to change your mood later in game. Okay, I'm not very happy and I'm not sad right now. So I guess we'll go for a neutral set. Let's create Griffin. Oh boy, more dialogue. Zenmorphs Protectors is an independent game developed by one man. That man must be awesome. This version and future versions of the game will have an update structure for adding more content. This version of the game only contains an estimated 25% of the planned overall content. Please keep in this in mind, as you may feel the game is short, or the story ends early. The, think of it almost like an episode. Okay, so what I get from that is, this game is not finished, and we'll get updates as we go along. But so far, it's only about a fourth done. So, this is... I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, guys. So, we may end up with a really short time until we get another update. Maybe, if my viewers are super awesome, they could, like, contact the man who created it, and we could get more game out quicker, I guess. All right. Let's click the arrow. Okay, more. The game will tell you when the story content is finished for this version. Okay, so we won't have to keep guessing. You can keep playing and growing your Zenmorphs like normal. You can keep having fun. When the update is released, just download it from the App Store. Each major update, 0 0.1 plus released, will continue the story and adds more maps and more overall features to the game. This update, the updates will be free, just check the App Store. I will never change for exclusive content you can't unlock just by playing. That's good. So no, like, you have to buy more for later? Okay. Sorry guys, I'm getting over a little bit of sick. Um... Today, in the States, it is Labor Day, so that would be September 5th. This video will probably be getting out around the 7th, I'm thinking. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't really care. Your feedback is very important to me. You can, chain, you can shape the game. Tell me what you liked disliked and would like to see in the game. I couldn't add everything in this version I had and I have big plans for updates. As a one man quote team end quote, I take pride in interacting with you fans. Head over to Callus Pro Callus Projects Forum I think that's how you say that or post a comment on the Twitter or Facebook pages. Be sure to check for Callus Projects. Enjoy the game. A message from Stephen. Stefan. Stephen? I'm going to say Stefan. Sorry if I butcher the name, guys. You can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I most likely am. Mick Vicker, also known as the Neo Dragon. That is an awesome name, dude. Neo Dragon and Ember Griff for the win. Yeah. Let's start the game, it looks like. Fade to black. All right. All right. And I'm running. Ooh, who is this? That's an awesome haircut. Lady, dude, whoever you are. Ah, oh, finally. What took you so long? Just think. We began our journey of becoming protectors tomorrow. We begin our journey of becoming protectors tomorrow. So I guess she's a family friend? A friend since, like, childhood? I don't know. Hello, Cloud. And it's raining, I just realized that. That's awesome. We have been best friends for ten years now, Griffin. Yep, 
childhood friends. Okay. We always imagined becoming protectors together when we were younger. Now it's finally going to be a reality. Okay. My friend Keith seems to have forgotten we have been friends for 12 years. Oh, so this is Keith. The, he certainly looks like a chick. But I won't judge. I'm, I'm the one rocking the purple-pink hair. As always. So we've been friends for 12 years. We are best friends. This is a dream come true for both of us. <laughs> and that's an awesome-looking building. Is it a school? Why is it raised up in the air? That's probably a sidewalk. Never mind. Phew. Wow. The Calidian... The Caledon... Protector building is so cool. Yeah, it does look awesome. Are you excited? Are you as excited as me, Griffin? Are we excited as they are about about starting Protector School? So we're gonna have to go through this and probably like dot 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 and answer the question. Um. Before today, or sometime this week, I don't remember, I hadn't even heard of this game. Or anything about this protector school. But, yeah, I've been dreaming of this. Yeah. Whatever those turtle things were. Yeah, that's a pretty silly question. We're in love with the idea. Oh, okay. Come on, let's get home. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. And we run off together. Okay. Fade to black. The morning of the first day of school. Lovely. Okay, Griffin's house. Heath, are you going to wear that hat to school? That's a hat? I thought it was some sort of armor thing. Oh, well. It does have pigtails on it, though. It's not pigtails, it's a... Yeah, that's what it is. I never take my hat off, Shauna. It's my signature look. Shauna. Like Pokemon? Are we literally playing a Pokemon game? Well, it does remind me a whole lot of Digimon. And I have been wanting to do... When I get... When Sun and Moon finally comes out, I might do a Nuzlocke. Or some sort of playthrough of it. But that's probably a long ways away from now. For you guys, I hope that the new reboot of the Pokemon franchise is amazing. And you're playing to your heart's content on the Pokemon Go, if it still exists. Whatever. It's my signature look. Okay. I'm sure it is. Well, it does look very cool. I cannot lie, that does look very cool. Oh, that was weird. How are you finding it living with with my and Griffin's older brother, Stephen? Okay, so we're siblings, okay? Three kids in the family, maybe? I'm enjoying it. Stephen's a cool guy. I feel welcome since I moved from Glenhook... Okay, another exposition, expositional city we've never heard of. Okay. Shout upstairs and wake up my little brother. So I'm the baby of the group? Well, okay. Alright, Keith, wake me up, I guess. Hey, Griffin, wake up! I'm just going to imagine he sounds like that. I'll wait for you outside. And he fades to black. And the music turns on. Tip. Use the directional pad, the D-pad. Couldn't you just say D the D-pad? Use the directional pad on the bottom left of the screen to move your character around the game world. Tap it to change the direction you are facing. Touch and hold to move. Okay... Press the button in the center of the D-pad to toggle running and walking. Use the action button. 
The action button slides up when you when it is needed and hides when not. The action button will show a different icon depending on what is in front of your character. Okay. Go to the wardrobe and notice how your action button will slide up. Press it, it and out on your and put on your protector uniform. Okay. Using the main menu. Man, this is taking forever. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this, but... Never mind. Pressing the menu button will bring out the main menu shade. Shade. Slide, maybe? I don't know. Simply press the sub menu icon to be taken to it. At the beginning of your adventure, not all of the sub menu icons will be on the menu shade. So I guess it is shade, it's said twice. As a as you progress, more icons will be available. Okay. So click that. Okay. Let's go to options. Okay. Is it going to do that every time? Alright guys, we're going to make it a little bit hard on us. Because, no, let's make it normal because we're noobs. Maybe if I get to do it again, we will do it later. Can I? Yeah, so it is a D-pad. Okay, that must be the action button. So I can't wear my swag shirt anymore? Fine. And the bathroom. I don't know why I'm looking at this. I don't need to go. Okay. Brush my teeth. Hmm, no items in the trash can. That's a trash can? Oh, okay. Okay, so turn it on and we run. Turn it off and we walk. Okay. I don't need a shower now. I'm clean. Clean body, clean mind. Ha ha ha. Okay. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. This must be sister's room. This is Shauna's room. This is her stuff. Yep. Shauna's room. This is her stuff. Okay. Um. Shauna's room. This is her stuff. Is there anything different? No. Um. This is my sister Shauna's bed. Okay. Nice. Fruitfulicious. This looks like a robot, but it's really an air conditioner. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. No items in the trash can. Will there ever be items in the trash can? Will it be like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, where there's trash can stuff and everything? I can't click the TV. I'm saddened. That's my bed. My soft bed. But I don't feel sleepy yet. Indeed. As the demon claws eat the house. The books. Most of the books on the shelf are for cooking. Okay. A lot of the books on this shelf are fictional stories. One book is called Old Altar, Brave Altar. Apparently, it's a laugh riot. You mean like a comedy? Okay, same thing. What about this one? So many history books on this shelf. One book is titled Zen Morse, A History of. Can I read it? No. Okay. Trash can, do you has nothing for me? Um, nope. I don't want any food from the fridge now. Okay. It's a stove. My sister Shauna isn't cooking anything at the moment. Oh, so she cooks. Okay. I gave this plate to my sister for her birthday. What a kind brother. Yeah. Nothing special about the sink. Can't click that. Oh. Yuck. Lovely clean dishes. And why isn't sister's dish with the other dishes? Is it dirty? I'm a pudgy little dude. 
Not much different from real life, but I don't like to be made fun of by my purple-haired counterpart. Can I sit down? No. Can I sit down? No. Sister! Good morning, Griffin! Oh, oops. I accidentally clicked through it. You'll be a great protector one day. I know you'll be a grand stage protector. Do, do you know which newborn you'll be picking? I bet you... Hmm, I don't know. I know you have something else in your mind. Listen, blood or not, you're family to me and Steven. I know you wish you knew your birth parents. It must be tough. I'm adopted? You've been a member of our family for a long time. Try not to think about this stuff. I mean, not on such an exciting day. My brother and I love you. Oh my, look at the time. You'd better... You'd best head off to school. Don't want to be late on your first day. Keith is waiting for you outside. I have been... I have to leave for work. I better get to the ZTR labs. Okay. I was late yesterday. Why are you still here? But Kyle Fitz is such a kind boss. He doesn't shout at me. I'm sure he'll be important later. I don't want to let him down and be late again, though. So, love interest for sister? See ya. Enjoy school. Good luck. And she runs off, and I will never know what she said at the beginning. Other than, I'm adopted. That... That's saddening. Okay. Ooh, that's a daily award. Oh, morning. I was just saying goodbye to your brother, Stephen. I've been woken up. I've been up since really early in the morning. That's why I woke you. I'm so excited. What do you think about the protector student uniforms? Cool, right? Seriously, look like a dude, Keith. From the point of view of, of, of a friend, do you think I'm... I look good wearing this. Making choices that influence your morale. Throughout your journey, you will, you will be presented with choices to make. These choices may influence your morale. Your morale can be positive or negative. Okay. Depending on how positive or negative your morale is, people will interact to you differently, and you will be able to make different choices in later events. Make the choices you want to make and shape yourself into what who you want to be. So I could be evil. I could be evil. Or super nice. Hmm. The possibilities are endless. Actually, there's only three, right? Good, evil, and neutral. Whatever. Your choices can help you form relationships and friendships with different people. This is a hidden value. That will, be, that will change your experience with the people you are close with in the game. While Keith is your best friend, your bond with others can drastically affect how they will help you in your journey. Remember this when making choices. So I could either be a massive douche and make people hate me. Or be super nice and be like a good friend and people might love me for it maybe I could let's be nice I guess I don't know well let's try it from the point of view of a friend do you think I look good wearing this I guess he's talking about the hat sure you look like a girl dude wink thanks Griffin that means a lot coming from you Come on, let's get to school. Don't drag me, I want to check out my daily... Aw, oh, man. What about the daily award? What about the daily award? Daily award! And I'm cutting through the grass. I thought he was going to make me run into a tree. <sighs> I have a feeling our life... Our lives? Will change the moment we walk into this door through this door. Indeed. Caledon Protector School. Welcome to Caledon Pro Protector School. My name is Christine. Uh, that's a weird name for a Christine. Okay. 
How may I help you? Hi, I'm Keith, and this is my friend Griffin. It's our first day. Ah, I see. I saw your name on the system earlier. How about I make it a little bit different? Oh, I. I saw your name on the system earlier. Here are your locker keys. You both are in Miss Mormon's class. Moron's class. Ah, oh, she's a moron. Yes, Miss Moron's class. The classroom is on this floor in the in the back left, last door. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Christine. And he's now a hick. Okay. Thanks, dude. I'm running with you. Can I actually get a new... Okay. Hmm. The red locker is your locker, and the green locker is mine. I'll be able to store items in here. If I don't have enough room in my bag, I can put items in this locker. Great. I thank you, sir. Hello, Miss Moran. Good... Good morning, students. My name is Miss Moran. I am your admin protector. Gee, thanks. You're my protector. It is my job to train you all to be the greatest protectors. A protector is someone who raises and helps Zen forms grow stronger. So, we're Pokemon trainers. Okay. Zen forms have a special bond with us. We help Zen forms evolve and become the best they can be. Now, I'm sure you all know what a Zen form is, but let me explain it to you all, anyways. As our principal, T. Visser, Vicar, Principal T. Vicar, famously said in the past, Zen forms, life representing the energy of our planet. Gaia. Zen forms are living creatures born from the from the Gaia crystals. Crystals with great energy that grow from the planet's core. I almost said the mountain's core. Dum da dum dum. <laughs> okay, stop. It's this power, this energy, that brings a Zen form to life. She sounds so like enthusiastic but in here she's just like smiling and speaking Zen forms are intelligent creatures they can understand human speech they have the ability to understand human social situations and interactions Zen forms first come to life as a stage we call newborn the three newborns are Ferno Rinba and Slino. Okay then. So no net, no nicknames like Pokemans, maybe. Or like Frinomon, Rindamon, and Slinomon, like Digimons. Digimon, Digimon. No. All of the Zen forms are evolutions, branch evolutions from these newborns. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. So we're going to start off with our starter. And we're going to choose the path that this monster evolves. And we're going to have... Okay. Okay. Not going to argue. Zen forms are broken up into S evolutionary stages. Five evolutionary stages. Okay. Newborn to child to adolescent to adult to grand. Okay, like grandparent or like super, either way. Each stage requires the Zen form to use different statistics to evolve. I hope you were listening, but I'll explain more in the future. Now though, it's time to pick your first newborn. Let's go to the Grand Hall and meet Principal Vicar. Should it be Vicar or Vasir? Vasar. His name is Vassar now, guys. It's gonna be Vassar for now on. Hello! There's someone that looks exactly like me.
Hello, student. Hello, students. Today is a very important day. It's important for you. Your official, you officially begin your journey as a protector. It's important to us. You will be representing all protectors. It's important to the state. Your actions will impact the land. Is he like the president or something? Like giving a motivational speech to 12 year olds? Well, well, they've been friends for 12 years. So maybe 15, 16? I don't know. And it's important, and it's important to all the Zen forms you will meet through your journey. It's time for you to pick your first newborn Zen form. Remember, all newborns and their Zen forms are in the wild. You will be able to capture the other newborns at any point in the wild. So it's the exact opposite of Pokemon. So you can actually catch, like, starters in the wild. You can choose what you want. And then you can get the others later. Okay. This newborn. This newborn will be stronger than the first group of wild newborns you encounter. Let's start with this young student in the front of me. Is that me? Come up here. Don't be shy in front of your classmates. It is me. What is your n name, young one? Maybe? Right, Griffin, you are the first. Which newborn Zen form are you picking? Will it be four-legged Renba? Or the ground crawler Slinu? Or will it be biped Freno? Freno. Remember, Griffin, you will find these in the wild too, but this Zen form will have a stat boost compared to most. So, do we want the cat thing, the manatee, or the walking cat monkey? I have to say, purple's my favorite color, as most of you have probably t could probably tell from the hair. Hmm. I'm leaning towards the water type. Or the blue one. I'm thinking it's a water type. If it's a water type, that would be awesome because, you know, water type. I'm, I love water types from Pokemon. And I love, like, the water type Yu-Gi-Oh's. Like, they all look awesome. Okay, I'm going for the blue ones, guys. I don't want to mess this up. Blue! Turtle coins. Did I just wink? You just got your first Zen form. You are so happy and in your own world that the rest. Oh. Wow, Griffin, our first Zen forms. You picked a Rimba? Okay. Cool, I picked a Frino. Did you give your Zen form a nickname? I have mine. I called it Max. Yeah, not the most original name. If you want to give your Zen form a nickname, you'll have to register it. Go to Christine behind the desk in the school. She'll handle it for you. I have an idea. Let's battle some wild Zen forms in Kozand Road Lower. Okay. I know tomorrow will be a lesson on battling, so let's get a head start. Come meet me there. I'll go ahead. Don't take too long. And I'm moving on my own. Oh, watching him go. Such a kind friend. Network features added to the main menu. You can now access online events and in-app purchases. Okay. 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 I think I'm going to end that here, guys. So, if you liked it, smash that like button with your talons, with your beaks, with your manticore tail things, whatever. And as always...